So before starting session, uh, because you see, people have confusion between firefighting, system designing, and fire and safety. Okay, so here we are not talking about the fire and safety course. This is not fire and safety course. Fire and safety course is different. That uh, in that uh, they will talk about uh, NIVOSH uh, safety management, health and safety. That is different. They will talk about NIVOSH and you show a you know, different course. Hmm. But here this course is for firefighting system designing. Firefighting system designing, specific uh, especially for mechanical uh, candidates. Even electrical people are learning for uh, those who are dealing with the MEP services. So this course is about firefighting system designing belongs to uh, building services. Okay, under MEP, you know this. Hmm. And in this training program, we are going to learn how to design these firefighting systems, like sprinkler system. Uh, we have stand pipe system. We have a CO2 system, FM200, etc. Hmm. So I'll give you the idea today. What uh, what are the systems we are going to deal with? in this training program okay so before starting first of all very basic so you know this we are living in modern world and in modern world uh, if you don't use the standards or if you don't use the course your design will not get approved and especially in firefighting I think those who are already working they know approval is required from whom we required approval for this firefighting Fire officer, sir. Fire officer, okay. Fire officer means we can say authority. Yes, yes, yes. You see, we have different names. Hmm. We can say the local authority. We can say civil defense, hmm. uh, especially for firefighting. Hmm. Or we can say the local authority. Hmm. Or as per NFPA, we used to call AHJ, authority having jurisdiction. Hmm. So in short, we used to call AHJ. So when I use the term AHJ, it means I'm talking about the local authority, AHJ, authority having jurisdiction. The term AHJ used in NFPA, so it means the local authority who will provide or who will give the approval of your design and and even after installation, the people from AHJ or the local authority, they will visit on site, they will check the system, then if they satisfy, they will give the approval or else they will give the comment to update. Any approval is required, as you said, from the client. That is a that is also that is also a thing. But or from the main consultant, uh, if you are working in a contractor, then you need to take approval from the from the consultant. Or that is a general procedure for all the services. But specifically for this firefighting, you must take the approval from the local authority, and you must follow the codes from the local authority. So do you know the difference between the standards and codes? Standards and codes. Anyone online? The difference between standards and codes. Yeah, the, I think the standards are, are going to vary from, uh, you know, given some, uh, you know, you know, like some uh, authorities that actually define what can be given, what quality of item or uh, what kind of system is required in a particular area. Mm -hmm. So the code is going to define. Mm -hmm. something like that now when you have a standard you can have like the uh, like uh, like maybe in India you use a different standard to install electrical mm -hmm. in the US we use a different standard yes. uh, the British use a different standard so that's how it goes so I'll give you the especially in the firefighting I'll give you the idea I'll remember this standard I'll give you example for example I think you know NFPA do you know NFPA uh, as a beginner, make a note of this first. NFPA, National Fire Protection Association. Hmm. National Fire Protection Association. In short, we used to call NFPA. Like you already did plumbing, so you know IPC, International Plumbing Code is standard. We are, means you follow for this plumbing. Similarly, for firefighting, we have a standard called NFPA. So NFPA is a standard. Hmm. Then what about the uh, course? Course means approved from your authority. Mm. It can be same NFPA. Suppose your authority is uh, accepting complete NFPA. So in that case, standard and end code will be same. Or is partly the NFPA are following and the, the local authority, your local, your local location authority have their own standards and they drive from NFPA and from other standards, whatever. Mm. So that we can call codes. Code means mandatory. Mm, standard we can say optional 
I cannot exactly say optional, but code is mandatory. Hmm. You must follow the codes from the local authority hmm. to get the approval. So that we used to call codes. But standard means NFP is standard, uh, UL is a standard, uh, FM is a standard. We have different standards. Like in HVC Astra, we have standards. Hmm. But if you talk about the codes, codes means you must follow to get the approval. And that code again can be from NFP. But that depends as per your local authority hmm. I think okay, well, that, ma that means sir you are saying that uh, course are taken from standard yeah course is from standard only hmm. but okay, okay. the local authority standards hmm. okay. that you need to follow for uh, approval for design as well as approval for installation etc hmm. so these are some slight difference you see code can be standard directly suppose your local authority directly accepting NFPA in that case standard and codes are same or they have their own hmm, taken from NFPA taken from other or they have their own uh, standard so that we can call codes okay so codes are mandatory you must follow that codes because if you not follow the codes you know your design will not accept or your not design will not get approved and you know for especially for firefighting approval is required hmm. without mm -hmm. approval yeah. matter of safety yes online Yes, sir. Uh, codes are varying from place to place, I think. No? Definitely. Codes will vary from place to place because every country, every location have their own local authority. Hmm. If you're working in the way, the codes are different. If you're working in US, the codes are different. If you're working in India, we used to follow NBC. Hmm. NBC is a code for Indian standards. Hmm. NBC, National Building Course. Hmm. So for India, we are following NBC as a code. Hmm. Uh, but again, NBC, uh, in NBC, most of the information is taken from NFPA. So if we can consider standard in Dubai, they have this Deva, Dubai Electricity and Water Water Authority, or Dubai Municipal, different, different. And in in Saudi, in some location we have RC Royal Commission, or in some Saudi courts, etc. So different, different, uh, depend as per the location, as per the area. So course refers to uh, the local authority, I'm nothing but we used to call AHA authority having jurisdiction. Hmm. Uh, you see, this point is important because uh, we are talking about this uh, uh, introduction. NFPA, you know, National Fire Protection Association, internationally accepted. Hmm. Uh, if you're if you're working in UK, then you need to follow CIPSI standards. Hmm. But in most of the locations, uh, the NFPA we can consider as a standard. In India, in Gulf, in many locations, NFPA and uh, society belongs to US. They are dealing with research and development for this firefighting systems, not only for building safety. They are dealing with the marine safety or uh, uh, the aircrafts, industrial, lot of lot of things. Hmm. So the first society uh, or the standard we can say NFPA, National Fire Protection Association. Uh, next we have IFC. International fire codes hmm. for some uh, systems we can use the codes from this not generally used but we have this option next IBC hmm. uh, IBC is the international building codes actually IBC we are using to uh, to get the information about the type of system which is applicable as per the type of project for example if it is a listen 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 this we have a separate topic just I'm giving the idea about IBC so IBC is an international building code you will find the different uh, services also in IBC handbook hmm. but we are following only chapter 3 and chapter 9 hmm. chapter 3 in chapter 3 you'll find uh, uh, the options to learn the types of building like business if, if it is an office that comes under class B if it is a school that comes under class C hmm, or is it a, if it is a mall or a auditorium we can say uh, assembly class A so in chapter 3 we'll use uh, to define the type of building and based on the type of building using chapter 9 you can find out which system is applicable which firefighting system is applicable okay so for that we'll use IBC but for designing course we'll follow NFP in this training program you see it is difficult for me to follow all the standards of all the locations so in this training program we are following NFP as a standard NFP as a standard and NFP as a quote okay with IBC and your municipal have their own standard to follow the system as per the type of building so it is difficult for me to explain or to add all the location standards so focus on the concept once you know the concept with these standards NFP, IBC etc you can apply the same with your local uh, uh, project also as per your uh, local authority requirement 
so just don't stick to the procedure Fo follow the concept with procedure concept learning is important because you know in building services nothing is fixed hmm. even if you talk about the HVEC or this plumbing plumbing or this electrical nothing is fixed we have different project different application different uh, requirement different systems etc especially in fire planning we have number of systems okay if you talk about electrical we have uh, lighting load power load and mechanical load that is fixed for almost all the buildings in that you will find the different loads etc but in, if you talk about firefighting we have number of systems so which system is applicable as per the type of project is, is important so concept learning is important next if you are working in uh, India then FSAI fire and security association of India or NBC national building codes okay next uh, listing and approval standards hmm. for the especially for the materials we have UL under IT laboratories. This society deals with research and development for this uh, listing and approvals for the material. Then FM, this uh, factory uh, manual, FM Global. And this society, FM Global, generally for uh, approval for the insurance companies. Okay. So as per the requirement, you need to follow this. 